Hey, 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 planner babes. Ashley here with Ashley Anderson Creates. Today, we are planning inside of my horizontal catch-all happy planner. The stickers that I'm using are from the Modern Year Sticker Book and the Sophisticated Florals. And then I also have the Create Your Own Sticker Book where you can customize your own sticker book. It's from the Happy Planner. When they sent it to me, it had these floral stickers in it, and I had the best of intentions. I was going to make like a sticker book that had all of the colorful boxes in it, and I'll be honest, I never did do it. But we are going to be using these floral stickers, and this spread was actually inspired by my Bujo Fitness spread that I created. I will link that down below because that started out as a disaster. I had to scrap the entire Bujo spread that I did, and then I ended up recreating it, and I think it turned out gorgeous. And so that inspired this one. And so here I have some wax paper. Um, well, first, hold on. I have these Oh, oh Who um, alcohol markers. I hope I'm saying the name of that right. But I have these and I have these four different colors here. I'm gonna show you the colors on the screen so you guys can screenshot those if you have these markers and you wanna create the same thing. I will have a full review video of these markers coming up soon. I want to use them some more before I fully review them. I want to try out some more blending and um, different things before I review them with you guys. So that will be coming soon, but I have the wax paper like I was saying earlier. Oh my gosh, here's another interruption. I have washi tape. I didn't end up using any of this washi tape, so I probably should have just cut this out of the video, but I do have some washi tape here. Okay, wax paper. <laughs> Let's finally talk about the wax paper. You guys, if you do not have the planning guides from the Happy Planner, wax paper is a great alternative. Um, I've had wax paper forever. I bought it a long time ago and then I put it up in my kitchen, totally forgot about it. And then I finally remember that I had wax paper. So I got it out and I'm using that as a way to hold my stickers. Your stickers will not stick to that wax paper, not even the clear stickers. The, you know, the clear stickers that like will suction to anything. They will stick to anything. They do not stick to wax paper. All right, so here I am taking the Ohuhu markers and I'm gonna start coloring in some of these floral stickers. Now I'm just gonna show you a few little clips here of me coloring in these stickers. I uh, blended a couple of the markers together. I also, you'll see me do some swatches and different things, but I didn't film the, that entire process because I'm just coloring in the floral stickers and it also takes, well it doesn't take really long, like a long, long time, but it did take a little bit of time to get these colored in. And then later on you'll see me start coloring in more because I didn't end up coloring in enough. But this light blue Ohuhu marker mixed with that light gray is like a gorgeous color that I absolutely love. And after I did that inside of my Bujo Fitness Planner, I knew I wanted to create it inside of my catch-all planner. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing here. I give this tip all the time whenever I am planning inside of my horizontal planner, but I'm going to repeat it because I know some of you watching this are just coming across my channel, across this video, and I want to give this tip to you. So if you have a horizontal happy planner, I recommend thinking of it in sections of three because this is really going to help guide your planning and sticker placement. So for example, under the days of the week, for me that's my first section. And here is where I put like my schedule, appointments, things that have like times associated kind of with them or most important things. So maybe I don't have anything scheduled for the day, but we have to get my son's homework done. And so that will go there. That's my first section. And then the next two section in this sections in this planner, because it's my catch all planner, I will alternate with either stickers or a to-do list, like a general to-do list. And so maybe the, the second column or the second section will be decorative stickers. And then the third section will be a general to-do list or vice versa. And so that's how I like to think about planning inside of a horizontal. It helps guide sticker placement. It also helps me be functional, but decorative, which is my style. All right, so here I'm starting to place down um, some of the floral stickers. The box stickers that I placed placed under the days of the week, those are for my work schedule. 
and so I'll put those down there and then I do have a couple of stickers underneath of Monday and Tuesday's box stickers I think it, yeah Monday and Tuesday Monday night we have Cub Scouts Tuesday night I have a team call and so both of those like my work schedule are time sensitive so um, that's why those go inside of that column and then if anything else comes up during the week I can always pull these sticker books out <clears throat> excuse me and um, add stickers in as needed for scheduled items And here's where I start to go back in and color in more of those floral stickers. And you'll notice that with this spread, I went more decorative and kind of white space than functional. So normally my style, if you're new here, my style is like decorative with function. So I, I need my planner to be function functional over everything. Like it, it has to function, it has to work for me in my life. But I also like to decorate with stickers and stuff. And so it's like functionality with a side of decor or like functionality, like if we were at a dinner, functionality and decor would be on the same giant plate. <laughs> um, some weeks with, you know, functionality being your main course and then decor being like your dessert. This week I'm kind of flip flopping that a little bit and I'm doing it for a reason because I am starting as a brand new baby nurse this week and I know that that big change in my schedule is going to make me exhausted until I get into that routine and that habit. Now this first week until Sunday, Sunday is whenever I do my first shift on the floor as a nurse, but the first week is going to be orientation, but it's still, it's still a major change in my schedule. So for this spread. I wanted to go more decorative and kind of white space with things and I, I have all the intentions of kind of not necessarily leaving it blank but not trying to fill it up either. I hope that makes sense. Actually my spreads for the next couple of weeks may be like that. Until I, like I said, until I get into this routine, until I get into this habit. And I've talked about over planning before and I think it's worth mentioning again because I haven't talked about it in a while. There's this vicious cycle that happens when you over plan. It's you over plan and then you get overwhelmed because you've planned so much and you have so much to do and there's not enough time or you get behind just even the slightest little bit and then you get overwhelmed. And then what happens whenever you get overwhelmed? We procrastinate. When you have a giant to do list, what do you want to do? What's the first thing you want to do? For me, the first thing I want to do is take a nap. Because I don't, I don't even want to start on this thing because it's such a massive to-do list. Like it's, it's a lot. And so then we procrastinate. Well, procrastination leads to us getting behind. And it's just, it's just this vicious cycle. Because then once we're behind, then we're feeling overwhelmed again. Then we continue to procrastinate. That's that vicious cycle. And I have gotten into this so many times. Like this cycle. By, like I've done it to where I over plan and then I get overwhelmed and then I procrastinate and then it's just round and round and round and round in the cycle. So that's my tip for you is don't over plan. I would actually love to see more of us in the community talk about under planning. Talk about, you know, like maybe setting priorities and it doesn't necessarily have to be a bunch of people in the community because everybody's planning style is different, which is totally fine. But talk about like setting priorities and getting the major things done that we need to and then having that white space to do whatever we want and that's my intentions this week is to have more white space so whenever i get home from work at i'll probably get home by five but when i get home from work if i want to sit down and chill that's what i'm gonna do i don't want a giant to-do list 
of things to do at least not in the beginning and even in the future i don't want a giant list i mean i have i have, will have stuff to do you know we gotta have clean underwear i need to do the laundry we gotta have silverware to eat off of so i guess i'll do the dishes that's just like basic stuff but i i hope i made sense there and i hope i explained that well and it wasn't confusing but let's focus on setting our priorities for the day knowing what the major things are and under planning so we have that white space to get creative to have fun to spend more time with our kids to read a book to watch a movie and not feel guilty about it which you shouldn't feel guilty about enjoying life anyways but i know that especially as women a lot of the times we do feel guilty for those things right okay I feel like I'm going on a rant and I'm like yelling at you like I'm your mom. I'm, I promise I'm not yelling at you. I just wanted to give you some tips and um, just share some of my thoughts with you. All right, so I added some box stickers into Friday, Friday and Saturday. Yes, Friday and Saturday. Now, Friday and Saturday, I'm off work. And then, like I said, Sunday will be my first nursing shift. So that'll be a, a full 12 hour shift. So Friday, Friday will be like filming and editing videos for the next day saturday is going to be prepping for the upcoming work week where i meal prep i make sure all of my scrubs are washed and clothes are laid out and everything bags are packed my son's school clothes are all ready to go for the week and stuff so that's kind of what those two days are for so i put those box stickers there because those are going to be my top priorities for friday and saturday and then i do have the checklist because you know i will do some other things but that's kind of what those boxes are for this will be an upswing so hear me out no we lost our purpose chasing all that surplus you were all that i need i feel that we can break free we can still go back there to a place with no cares we can turn this ship around we can turn this ship around all the way back home Okay, here I'm taking up that rose gold gratitude sticker. I love that sticker. It was so cute, but it really clashed with this spread. Now, if I would have had more rose gold, I would have kept it. But because I didn't, it just it stuck out like a sore thumb to me. So I took it up, and here I'm taking a pencil, and I'm going to write out the word gratitude, and then I go over top of that with a micron. Anytime I'm doing something like this, I like to start with a pencil because... One, my calligraphy is not very good. My handwriting is not very good. Any type of cursive that I do is not very good. So with a pencil, I can fix it, you know, make changes or whatever and correct it. And then I can go over it with a pen. A cool thing about the Micron, I'm not like the biggest fan whenever it comes to writing with these. I love using them for my Boudreaux spreads. But the good thing about a Micron is that you can usually erase pretty quickly. And you don't have to worry about smearing. I mean, I sit here for... I don't know, what, 10, 15 seconds and let it dry. So that was a little bit longer. But usually as soon as you're done writing, you can erase it. So let's actually write in my spread for this week. I did go ahead and take pictures. That's why this is all set up. So I got my photos ready to go for Instagram. And now we're going to start filling in my planner. I will have all of my favorite pins linked down below in the description box, but currently my favorite is the Sharpie S gel in 0.38. I have it in 0.5 and 0.38. I love both of them, but I love that good, like clean, neat, crispy writing with the 3.8. It doesn't like scratch like crispy, like whenever you're writing with it, like the writing part is smooth. Um, it's just, I love that clean writing experience. My, I, I'm probably not explaining that very well, but anyways, I love this pen and that's what I'm going to write with. And like I said, I'll have my other favorites linked down below. So basically what I'm putting in here is going to be my work schedule for the week. And then, um, Monday night, like I said, Cub Scouts, Tuesday night, I have a team call. So I will write those things in. And then I don't remember if I wrote anything down on Friday or Saturday. I may have went ahead and wrote it in, but as far as the items on the checklist, 
like where I have those two peachy color checklist for those things I'll write those in as the days go on so where I have the checklist for Monday and Tuesday that could be for either day really I could write things in there for Wednesday because in my it to, like to me with my style that could just be a general checklist that's not day specific same thing with the one on Friday and Saturday but really the one on Friday and Saturday is for Friday and Saturday because like I said those are the two days I have off and then I go to work on Sunday so I also have the checklist down there for Wednesday and Thursday so you see how those overlap so it could be for either day um, and like I said I'll fill those in once those days get here All right, my planner friends, that is going to be my catch-all spread for the week. And if you want to see after the pin photos of my planner spreads, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I will have that link down below. And then I, I want to do more videos of me actually filling in my planner. Is that something that you guys want to see? If so, make sure you let me know down in the comments section. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Seriously, have an incredible day, my friend, and I will see you in the next video.